and welcome to York News. A brief look at what's new and what's happening in York County. I'm Gail Whitaker. That's enough. Coming up on this edition of York News. Oh, it's actually work. The county continues to pursue Go Green initiatives in its facilities. I call the meeting to order. Up first, like the Board of Supervisors Mr. held its regular meeting on Mr. Tuesday, Williams? August 18th. Yeah. There Mr. was one Mr. public Mr. hearing Mr. item Mr. on the agenda. After welcoming citizen comment, the board approved the sale of county property located at 208 Bacon Street in Yorktown to Mario Buffa. The board approved all items on the consent calendar, including minutes of a previous meeting of the board and the commendation of the services of Sheila Myers as a member of the York County Arts Commission. Under new business, the board approved a minor amendment to a previously approved special use permit by extending the term of authorization for a firearms repair shop as a home occupation with on-premises customer client contact on property located at 220 Boulevard Drive, and the board approved a minor amendment to a previously approved special use permit by extending the term of authorization for non-resident employees in connection with an existing home occupation at 115 Albacore Drive. The board tabled a resolution to sponsor an application to amend a section of the York County Code by removing the two-year term requirement for home occupations with non-resident employees. The next meeting of the Board of Supervisors will be held on Tuesday, September 1st at 6 p.m. in the East Room of York Hall. For more information about the Board of Supervisors meetings, call the County Administrator's Office at 890-3320. The board's complete agenda, including all supporting materials, is also available on the county's website at www.yorkcounty.gov. Board of Supervisors meetings are retelecast on WYCG-TV on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at 11 a.m., 7 p.m., and 11 p.m., and Saturday and Sunday at 3 p.m. Programs scheduled for 6 p.m. on the board's meeting dates will be preempted by the live meeting. This is an opportunity for home-based businesses to get together with some of the experts in the business field. Meetings are also available both live and on demand on the web. WYCG TV programming on the web may be reached by logging on to the county's website and then selecting WYCG on the home page. Says end of report. Election day is Tuesday, November 3rd, and the York County Electoral Board has received new voting machines to replace the office's aging voting units, including those touchscreen voting machines decertified by the State Board of Elections due to security concerns. Voters will notice very little change in how they vote using the new machines. Voters will continue to mark a paper ballot and will place the ballot into the scanner. The machine will scan and record the vote and inform the voter that their ballot has been cast. The Electoral Board and the Voter Registrar's Office will be scheduling time for voters to visit the machines and take them for a test run prior to Election Day. Those days and times will be determined in the coming weeks. Okay. And then your protected count as well. It's all right there. Right, little babies. Yeah. York County is increasing its Go Green initiatives to help make the county facilities more energy efficient and to help the environment at the same time. At Back Creek Park, the county has installed lighting that is more efficient and will save taxpayer dollars. The county staff has been hard at work making the county's finance building Energy Star certified, which requires the county meet certain standards. It has to have an Energy Star score of 75 or higher. The finance building was 67 when it started out and then through HVAC improvements and lighting improvements through time that score improved and we were able to seek Energy Star certification. And some new Go Green initiatives by Mosquito Control are the mosquito repellent plants that are grown by Mosquito Control and then given to residents and the newly expanded mosquito fish program that now includes stocking all BMPs in the county with the mosquito larva eating fish. For more information about the county's Go Green efforts, visit our Go Green website at www.yorkcounty.gov slash go green. You're dead. You're dead. Lay down. Registrations are now being accepted for the York County Fire and Life Safety CERT training program. CERT, or Community Emergency Response Team training, will begin on Wednesday, September 16th and continue for several weeks. The program provides citizens with the knowledge, skills, and abilities to not only help their families be better prepared for emergencies, 
but also to help their neighborhood be better prepared and to take action when York County is affected by major emergencies or disasters. Registration forms are available at www.yorkcounty.gov fire. For more information, call the office at 890-3600 Monday through Friday from 8.15 a.m. to 5 p.m. York County recently completed installation of new playground equipment at Charles Brown Park, a 10-acre park facility located on Route 238 in Lackey. The new structure is designed to help children develop physically, intellectually, socially, and cognitively. The design allows for easy accessibility by those with physical challenges. In addition to the playground equipment, the county has finished installation of two picnic tables with shelters at the park, located near the playground area, making this park a more inviting place for families to spend time. Charles Brown Park is open daily and features a baseball field, two basketball courts, and a community services center. For more information about the park or reserving the center, call Parks Recreation and Tourism at 890-3500. Summer is coming to a close, but many young people will return to school with fond memories of summer camp. One of the camps sponsored by York County and held at York High School was Model Rocketry. This camp introduced students to the basics of model rocketry. All campers learned how a model rocket works and were able to build a rocket from a kit and launch it. Several years ago, I asked um, my high school students if they had ever launched a model rocket, and hardly any of them, a handful maybe, had raised their hands. So I thought that was just a travesty. I thought everybody launched a model rocket when they were young. And I decided to do something about it, and I started a model rocketry camp with York County Parks and Rec. And uh, one thing led to another, and we added an engineering camp eventually, and we uh, added the robotics. So uh, we've been doing that for six or seven years now. This camp was open for students in grades 1 through 8. Dylan's photon disruptor! Keep your eyes open next spring when camp information and registration dates are provided by Parks, Recreation and Tourism. A fundraiser to support visual and performing arts in the community is being held on Friday, September 4th from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. in the freight shed at Riverwalk Landing. Yorktown celebrates fall arts with opening night, a special event featuring a gallery of wood art accompanied by music, food, and beverages, and a silent auction. The cost is $35 per person in advance and $40 at the door. Tickets are available in the gallery at York Hall, located at 301 Main Street, or reserve tickets at the door by sending payment to Celebrate Yorktown Committee, P.O. Box 557, Yorktown, Virginia, 23690. For more information, call the gallery at your call at 890-4490. And finally, mark your calendars for the return of the Virginia Symphony Orchestra under the baton of Benjamin Rouse. This is the 19th year the symphony has played a free concert in Yorktown. This year's concert will be held on Saturday, September 5th at 7.30 p.m. at Riverwalk Landing. For complete concert details, please visit www.visityorktown.org or call 890-4490. York County is proud to offer the 11th Annual Rhythms on the Riverwalk Concert Series scheduled for this fall at Riverwalk Landing in historic Yorktown. The weekly concert series will take place on the performance stage overlooking the York River. The series will be held on Friday evenings from 6.30 to 8.30, beginning September 11th and continuing through October 9th. The concerts include Williamsburg Classic Swing Orchestra on September 11th, the Super Jazz Band featuring Connie Mann on September 18th, Glenn Boswick and the Sounds of Swing Orchestra on September 25th, Little Country on October 2nd, and Buckshot on October 9th. These concerts are free and open to the public. For complete concert information, please visit www.visityorktown.org or call Parks, Recreation and Tourism at 890-3500. And finally, all York County Courts, offices, social services, libraries, and offices of the Waste Management Center 
will be closed on Monday, September 7th in observance of the Labor Day holiday. The York, Pecos and Virginia Cooperative Extension offices will be open. There will be no curbside garbage collection on Labor Day. Those who usually receive pickup on Monday will have their garbage collected on Tuesday. Tuesday regular collection will be picked up on Wednesday and so on for the remainder of the week. Recycling collection is not affected by the holiday. That's all for this edition of York News. Please join us on September 9th for the next edition of York News. Until then, thanks for watching.